In this next one, we have a flat in the key signature, but it works the same way. The flat is fa, and we count from there to our starting note, and we notice that it is do. Take a moment to look through this and see what you can tell me about it. Do you have some ideas yet? Hopefully you notice that this is in major. It starts and ends on do and spends a lot of time centering around do. You might have also noticed that there's a few moments where we have a tonic triad in here as well. This is centering on do, do is major, and this is the letter F, so it's the key of F major. This is our F, and this is our triad. Sing your Do Mi So, your major tonic triad. Do Mi So Mi Do So Do. In this case, we don't go up to the high Do, but we do go down to the low So. Do So Do. Sing that. Do So Do. Good. Let's look through it and sing it. One, two, breathe, sing. Do, do, re, mi, do, mi, fa, so, fa, re, mi, re, do, ti, do, so, do, mi, so, mi, so, fa, mi, re, mi, fa, la, so, fa, so, mi, fa, mi, re, do. If you're like me, you wanted this fa to be a mi, so, mi, so, mi, but it's not. So, fa, so, mi. So often music will show us something and fulfill our expectations, but then a moment later subvert those same expectations. Take a look at this one for just a moment and see what you can glean from that. Just another moment to look through it. So, what have you figured out? Perhaps you noticed that it starts on law and it ends on law, though not the same law, low law and high law. We also have phi, in this case a natural that's taking the flat away, and C, in this case a sharp that's adding a sharp to what was previously a natural. La, phi, si, la, and then so, fa, mi. So we have this common pattern that we see in our melodic form of the minor scale. This, from here to here, is essentially just part of a scale. So let's go ahead and sing just a minor scale using the phi and the si on the way up and the so and the fa on the way down. La, ti, do, re, mi, phi, si, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, ti, la. Let's do it one more time so you can hear all the differences between the ascending version, which has the raised notes, and the descending, which has them returned to normal. La, ti, do, re, mi, fi, si, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, ti, la. Good. Let's sing the whole thing now. Um, I do want to point out measure seven may be a little bit tricky because it has a pattern we don't sing very often, or at least we haven't sung very often yet. Re, fa, la. So just watch out when we get there. La, measure one, breathe, 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 sing. La, do, mi, do, la, ti, do, re, mi, fi, si, la, so, fa, mi, 
fa fa mi re fa mi la do mi fa re oh i sang that wrong whoops sorry mi la do re mi re fa la si fi si la no one is immune to mistakes no one is is uh, allowed to stop concentrating because when you least expect it you'll lose focus in this case i was looking so far ahead i forgot where i was um so starting on the second line fa for my benefit as well as anyone else's ready go fa fa mi re fa mi la do re mi re Fa la si fi si la. That fi right there at the end might throw you off a little bit. Next one. Take a moment and look at it, study it, and see what you can learn. Study the second line especially. There are some tricky things there. I want to point out measure five. Re, fa, re, do, ti. Maybe a little different than what you're expecting. Measure seven. La fa re mi fa re ti la. Again, maybe slightly different than you were expecting. This one is different from the previous one in that it starts on high la and ends on low la. So sing low la, la. That's our ending place. Now sing high la, la. That's our starting place. So deep breath, lots of air. Ready? Breathe, breathe. Breathe, sing. La, si, la, fa, mi, do, re, mi. Fa, mi, re, mi, la, ti. Mi, re, fa, re, do, ti. Do, mi, la, si, la. Fa, re, mi, fa, re, ti, la. And so if you didn't get it in the first try, rewind and work through it again. There's lots of very important things that these melodies have to teach you about scale and different skips and jumps within the scale and different patterns that you'll see in a lot of common melodies. So to summarize, the key signature identifies the solfege for us. We use our sharps and our flats in the key signature to figure out where do is, where la is, where those notes are. Each key signature, as we've seen here, can produce two different keys depending on what the music does. So by knowing the key signature, you know two possibilities. We saw earlier that the key of one sharp produced both G major and E minor. We know it's major if it centers around Do. Do is the tonic in a major key. And the triad is Do, Mi, So in a major key. La is the tonic in minor keys. So if it centers around La, then it's minor. And La, Do, Mi is my triad in minor. Essentially, once you figure out the tonic, then you know the key, because the letter of the tonic is the name of the key. So if it centers around Do, and Do is on G, then it's in the key of G, specifically G major. Minor keys often, but not always, possess accidentals on Fa, changing it to Fi, and So, changing it to C. Of those two, the, by far the more common one is So, changing to C. So keep that in mind as you're looking through melodies and you're trying to determine, are they in major or are they in minor? Review any of these that you need to in order to feel really, really solid on how minor keys and work, work and how some of the stuff that you've already done in major connects over exactly to minor 
and how other things might be just a little bit different.